Hello everyone. In a previous class, we discussed about the various applications of the diode in detail form, like diode used in rectifier circuit, diode used in clipper and clamper circuit, and diode used in solar panel. In this lecture, We will study about series and parallel configuration of the diode. Diode in series, diode in parallel. After this, we will study about the voltage multiplier circuit. half wave voltage doubler circuit full wave voltage doubler circuit further we move on voltage tripler circuit after this the voltage quadrupler circuits And next is the application of voltage multiplier. Next one is a so let's start with the topic diode in series and parallel. When designing high voltage, high power rectifiers or the other types of high voltage converters where diodes are necessary. Diodes can be used in series or parallel blocks to increase ratings. It means by connecting the diode series and parallel, we can increase the rating of the device. Because the exact characteristics of each individual diode cannot be guaranteed to be the same. It is prudent to include additional simple circuitry to ensure reverse voltage and the forward current sharing occurs. Without production circuit, individual diodes can be destroyed due to over voltage or over current condition. Next topic, diode in series. If the diodes are connected in series, the combined effect is to increase the reverse blocking capability. When forward current flow in the forward direction, both diodes conduct the same current and the forward voltage drop are very similar. It means if we connected the diode, two or more diode in series, so the effect to increase the reverse blocking capability. However, reverse voltage across each individual diode could vary drastically depend on the characteristics of each diode. In a figure, it can be seen that the voltage drop across D2 will not cause breakdown. However, avalanche breakdown will occur in diode D1. So the forward voltage, the direct current is I equal to battery voltage U battery minus of U1 minus U2 means the voltage across the diode 1 and u to the voltage across the diode 2 divided by the resistance R. Reverse voltage, the effect of using diodes 
with different characteristics on the reverse blocking capability. The simplest protection circuit is to connect a high value register in parallel with each diode. Theoretically, if the exact characteristics of each diode are known, it would be possible to design the resistors so that exact voltage division is achieved. Practically, however, this is not possible and a simple design can be used. For example, reverse series voltage production. If U is equal to U1 plus U2 is equal to 400 volt and the reverse leakage current for each diode is specified as I reverse maximum is equal to 50 milliampere then R1 is equal to R2 is equal to U1 upon IR1 is equal to U2 upon IR2 is equal to 400 by 2 divided by 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 so if, if we calculate so the final answer is 4 kilo ohm after the calculation the answer is 4 kilo ohm this is the circuit diagram a standard value of 4.7 kilo ohm is preferred the power loss in each register is P is equal to simple formula P is equal to I square R so P1 is equal to I1 square into R1 and P2 is equal to I2 square into R2 is equal to 4.7 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 0 0.05 square so finally we get 11.75 watt For further transient voltage equalization, an additional series connected RC network can be placed across each diode in addition to R1 and R2. So this is a simple diagram. The two diode D1 and D2 is connected in series. U1 is called the voltage across the diode D1, U2 is the voltage across the diode D2. Now next topic is diode in parallel. Connecting diode in parallel will increase the current carrying capability. If it is possible to match the diodes so that approximately equal current sharing is achieved, this should be done. So this is the diagram. In this diagram, the four diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4 are connected in parallel with the supply. The current across di diode D1 is I1, the current across diode D2 I2, I3 and I4 across D4 to measure the voltage across each diode we connected a voltmeter parallel with the diode and connected one ampere meter or a meter in series with the diode to measure the current forward voltage the DC current I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 means the total current is a summation of all the currents. Reverse voltage protected. So resistance R1 is greater or equal to U upon I1 max and R2 greater or equal U2 upon I2 max similarly I3 and I4 the next topic is a voltage multiplier circuit
First, the definition of voltage multiplier. The voltage multiplier is an electronic circuit that delivers the output voltage whose amplitude or peak value is 2, 3 or more times greater than the amplitude of the input value or input voltage. Voltage multiplier ka matlab hai ki input mein hum jo voltage dete hain output mein hamara voltage multiply ho ke milta hai hame double form mein, triple form mein ya uske fourth form mein milta hai char guna hame milta hai isliye hum usko bolte hain multiplier kyunki voltage ka output mein jo hai multiply hota jata hai input mein jo hum voltage dete hain ya to usko double kar dega output mein ya uska triple kar dega ya four times kar dega so this is a simple definition of voltage multiplier circuit or another definition is the voltage multiplier is an electronic circuit that convert the low AC voltage into high DC voltage. Some other definition of this circuit is the voltage multiplier is an AC to DC converter made up of diode and capacitors that produce a high voltage DC output from a low voltage AC input. So these all are the definition of voltage multiplier circuit. Basically, it's a circuit which multiply the output voltage. So this is the diagram for voltage tripler circuit. इस सर्किट में क्या करेंगे हम जो वोल्टेज देंगे उसका थ्री टाइम्स हमें आउटपुट में मिलेगा जैसे हम फिगर में देख पा रहे हैं कि वी आई इज इक्वल टू वी एम जो हमारे इनपुट वोल्टेज है वो वी एम इज कॉल्ड द मैक्सिमम वोल्टेज तो आउटपुट जो हमें वी आउट मिल रहा है वी नॉट से रिप्रेजेंट किया है हमने इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू वी एम मतलब थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ हमें मैक्सिमम वोल्टेज मिल रहा है तो ये सर्किट हमारा वोल्टेज ट्रिपलर सर्किट कहलाएगा बिकॉज इन दिस सर्किट we get the output voltage triple times of the input voltage. Now what is voltage multiplier? The voltage multiplier power supplies have been used for many years. Walton and Cocraft built an 800 kV supply for an iron accelerator in 1932. Since that time, the voltage multiplier has been used primarily when high voltage and low current are required. The use of voltage multiplier circuit reduced the size of high voltage transformer and in some, in some case make it possible to eliminate the transformer. The recent technology development have made it possible to design a voltage multiplier that efficiency converts the low AC voltage into the high DC voltage comparable to that of the more conventional transformer rectifier filter circuits. The voltage multiplier is made up of capacitor and diodes that are connected in different configurations. The voltage multiplier has different stages. Each stage is made up of one diode and one capacitor. So this is the circuit diagram for voltage quadrupler. इस सर्किट में क्या होगा जो हमारा इनपुट वोल्टेज होगा उसका फोर टाइम्स हमें आउटपुट वोल्टेज में मिलेगा इसीलिए हम इसको वोल्टेज क्वाड्रेपुलर सर्किट बोलते हैं इन दिस डायग्राम फोर डायोड आर कनेक्टेड डी वन डी टू डी थ्री एंड डी फोर एंड फोर कैपेसिटर आर कनेक्टेड सी वन टू सी फोर These arrangement of the diode and capacitor make it possible to produce rectified and filtered output voltage whose amplitude is larger than the input AC voltage.
Next is a types of voltage multiplier. So voltage multiplier are classified into four types or four category. Number one, half wave voltage doubler, full wave voltage doubler circuits, voltage tripler circuit, and voltage quadruple circuit. So this is the basic classification of voltage multiplier circuits. Number one, half wave voltage doubler circuit. Half wave voltage doubler circuit. As its name suggests, a half wave voltage doubler is a voltage multiplier circuit whose output voltage amplitude is twice that of the input voltage amplitude. So it is called the doubler circuit. A half wave voltage doubler drives the voltage to the output during either positive or negative half cycle. The half wave voltage doubler circuit consists of two diode, two capacitor, and AC input voltage source. So, during positive half cycle, the circuit diagram of the half wave voltage doubler is shown in a figure. During the positive half cycle, the diode D1 is forward bias. So it allows electric current through it. This current will flow to the capacitor C1 and charge it to the peak value of the input voltage that is Vm. So this is the circuit diagram. In this diagram, the diode D1 is a forward bias. However, the current does not flow to the capacitor C2 because the diode D2 is reverse bias. So the diode D2 blocks the electric current flowing towards the capacitor C2. Therefore, during positive half cycle, the capacitor C1 is charged whereas capacitor C2 is discharged. बिल्कुल नॉर्मली हम सर्किट में देख सकते हैं कि जो हमारा पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल होगा पॉजिटिव वीएम होगा उसमें डायोड D1 जो है वो फॉरवर्ड बाइस पे काम करेगा जिसमें जिससे कि कैपेसिटर C1 जो है वो चार्ज हो जाएगा अपनी पीक वैल्यू तक और जो डायोड D2 है वो रिवर्स बाइस में रहेगा मींस C2 जो है वो डिस्चार्ज अनचार्ज रहेगा या डिस्चार्ज कंडीशन में रहेगा इन दिस कंडीशन वी गेट द आउटपुट वोल्टेज V0 is equal to 2 Vm. तो इसमें इनपुट वोल्टेज वेबफॉर्म और आउटपुट वोल्टेज वेबफॉर्म दोनों ही मैंने ड्रॉ करके आपको दिखा रहा है नाउ ड्यूरिंग नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल ड्यूरिंग द नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल द डायोड डी वन इज रिवर्स बाइज सो द डायोड डी वन विल नॉट अलाउ द इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट थ्रू इट देयर फोर ड्यूरिंग द नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल द कैपेसिटर सी वन विल नॉट बी चार्ज हाउर द charge Vm stored in the capacitor C1 is discharged. On the other hand, the diode D1 is forward bias during the negative half cycle. So the diode D2 allows electric current through it. This current will flows to the capacitor C2 and charge it. The capacitor C2 charges to a value 2 Vm because the input voltage Vm and the capacitor C1 voltage Vm is add to the capacitor C2. Hence, during the negative half cycle, the capacitor C2 is charged by both input supply voltage Vm and the capacitor C1 voltage Vm. Therefore, the capacitor C2 is charged to 2 Vm. If a load is connected to the circuit at the output side, the charge 2 Vm stored in the capacitor C2 is discharged and flow to the output. During the next positive half cycle, 
the diode D1 is forward biased and diode D2 is reverse biased. So the capacitor C1 charges to Vm whereas the capacitor C2 will not be charged. However, the charge 2Vm stored in the capacitor C2 will be discharged and flows to the output load. Thus end the half wave voltage doubler drive a voltage of 2Vm to the output load. The capacitor C2 gets charged again in the next half cycle. The voltage 2Vm obtained at the output side is twice that of the input voltage Vm. So this circuit is called voltage doubler circuit. The capacitors C1 and C2 in half wave voltage doubler charge in alternate half cycles. The output waveform of the half wave voltage doubler is almost similar to the half wave rectifier with filters. The only difference is the output voltage amplitude of the half wave voltage doubler is twice that of the input voltage amplitude. But in half wave rectifier with filter, the output voltage amplitude is same as the input voltage amplitude. The half wave voltage doubler supplies the voltage to the output load in one cycle, either positive or either a negative half cycle. In our case, the half wave voltage doubler supplies the voltage to the output during the positive half cycle. Therefore, the output signal regulation of the half wave voltage doubler is poor. Now, the advantage of half wave voltage doubler circuit. High voltages are produced from the low input voltage source without using the expensive high voltage transformer. This is the one of the most important advantage of half wave voltage doubler circuit. Now next is a disadvantage of the half wave voltage doubler circuit. Large ripple or unwanted fluctuations are present in the output signal. The next topic is full wave voltage doubler circuit. The full wave voltage doubler consists of two diodes, two capacitor and input AC voltage source. So this is the diagram for full wave voltage doubler circuit. During positive half cycle of the input AC signal, the diode D1 is forward biased. So the diode D1 allow electric current through it. The current will flow to the capacitor C1 and charge it to the peak value of the input voltage that is Vm. On the other hand, the diode D2 is reverse biased during the positive half cycle. So the diode D2 does not allow electric current through it. Therefore, capacitor C2 is uncharged. During negative half cycle of the input AC signal, the diode D2 is forward biased. So the diode D2 allow the electric current through it. This current will flow to the capacitor C2 and charges it to the peak value of the input voltage that is Vm. On the other hand, diode D1 is reverse biased during the negative half cycle. So the diode D1 does not allow electric current through it. Thus the capacitor C1 and C2 are charged during the alternate half cycles. The output voltage is taken across two series connected capacitors C1 and C2. If no load is connected, 
the output voltage is equal to the sum of the capacitor C1 voltage and the capacitor C2 voltage. That is C1 plus C2 is equal to Vm plus Vm is equal to 2Vm. When a load is connected to the output terminals, the output voltage V0 will be somewhat less than 2Vm. The circuit is called full wave voltage doubler because one of the output capacitor is being charged during each half cycle of the input voltage. The next topic is a voltage tripler circuit. The voltage tripler can be obtained by adding one more diode or capacitor stage to the half wave voltage doubler circuit. So this is the diagram of voltage tripler circuit during first positive half cycle of input AC signal the diode D1 is forward biased whereas diode D2 and D3 are reverse biased. Hence the diode D1 allow electric current through it. Now this current will flow to the capacitor C1 and charge it to the peak value of the input voltage that is Vm. During negative half cycle, diode D2 is forward biased whereas diode D1 and D3 are reverse biased. Has the diode D2 allow electric current through it. This current will flow to the capacitor C2 and charge it. The capacitor C2 is charged to twice the peak voltage of the input signal is 2 Vm. This is because the charge Vm is stored in the capacitor C1 is discharged during the negative half cycle. Therefore, the capacitor C1 voltage Vm and the input voltage is add, added to the capacitor C2 that is capacitor voltage plus input voltage is equal to Vm plus Vm is equal to 2 Vm. As a result, the capacitor C2 charges to 2 Vm. During second positive half cycle, the diode D3 is forward biased whereas diode D1 and D2 are reverse biased. The diode D1 is reverse biased because the voltage at X is negative due to the charged voltage Vm across C1 and the diode D2 is reverse biased because of its orientation. As a result, the voltage 2 Vm across capacitor C2 is discharged. This charge will flow to the capacitor C3 and charges it to the same voltage 2 Vm. The capacitor C1 and C3 are in series and the output voltage is taken across the two series connected capacitor C1 and C3. The voltage across capacitor C1 is Vm and the capacitor C3 is 2 Vm. So the total output voltage is equal to the sum of capacitor C1 voltage and the capacitor C3 voltage that is C1 plus C3 is equal to Vm plus 2 Vm is equal to 3 Vm because we get the triple output voltage so this circuit is known as voltage tripler circuit. Therefore the total output voltage obtained and voltage tripler is 3 Vm which is three times more than the applied input voltage. So it is called voltage tripler circuit. Next topic is voltage quadruple. The voltage quadrupler can be obtained by adding one more diode capacitor stage 
to the voltage tripler circuit. So this is the diagram of voltage quadrupler circuits. It has four diode and four capacitor. The name is D1, D2, D3 and D4 and C1, C2, C3 and C4. During the first positive half cycle of the input AC signal, the diode D1 is forward biased, whereas diode D2 and D3 and D4 are reverse biased, as the diode D1 allows electric current through it. This current will flow to the capacitor C1 and charges it to the peak value of the input voltage, that is Vm. During first negative half cycle, the diode D2 is forward biased and the diodes D1, D3 and D4 are reverse biased. Hence, the diode D1 allows electric current through it. This current will flow to the capacitor C2 and charges it. The capacitor C2 is charged to twice the peak voltage of the input signal means 2 Vm. This is because the charge Vm is stored in capacitor C1 is discharged during the negative half cycle. Therefore, the capacitor C1 voltage Vm and input voltage Vm is added to the capacitor C2 that is capacitor voltage plus input voltage is equal to Vm plus Vm equal to Vm. As a result, the capacitor C2 charge to 2 Vm. During second positive half cycle, the diode D3 is forward biased and the diodes D1, D2 and D4 are reverse biased. Diode D1 is reverse biased because the voltage at X is negative due to charged voltage Vm across C1 and the diode D2 and D4 are reverse biased because of their orientation. As a result, the voltage 2Vm across the capacitor C2 is discharged. This charge will flow to the capacitor C3 and charge it to the same voltage 2Vm. During second negative half cycle, diodes D2 and D4 are forward biased whereas the diodes D1 and D3 are reverse biased. As a result, the charge 2Vm is stored in the capacitor C3 is discharged. This charge will flow to the capacitor C4 and charges it to the same voltage 2Vm. The capacitor C2 and C4 are in series and the output voltage is taken across the two series connected capacitors C2 and C4. The voltage across capacitor C2 is 2Vm and the capacitor C4 is also 2Vm. So the total output voltage is equal to the sum of the capacitor C2 voltage and the capacitor C4 voltage that is C2 plus C4 is equal to 2Vm plus 2Vm is equal to 4Vm. Therefore the total output voltage obtained in voltage quadruplers or quadruple is 4 Vm, which is 4 times more than the applied input voltage. So this circuit is called voltage quadruple circuit or voltage quadrupler circuit. The next topic is application of voltage multipliers. Voltage multipliers are used in CRT, means cathode ray tubes. It is used in traveling wave tubes, laser systems, X-ray systems, LCD backlighting, 
liquid crystal diode backlighting system. It is also used high voltage power supplies, power accelerators, So the next is a references of this presentation. So these are the references. Thanks for watching the video.